um, hey, uh, I'm doing a stream, a Monday stream, because I don't have work right now, and uh, I have a couple episodes that I just want to get out of my brain, so yeah, I'm going to do a quick episode, I might hang out for a bit, um, right now, I launched the podcast on Product Hunt, so it's going well, I'm about in 12th place, something like that, around there, not bad, because uh, when I launched Alerts for BTC on Product Hunt, um, I only got 5 upvotes, so to get, I don't know, 60, 70, that's, uh, that's a lot for me, I'm really proud of myself. Uh, I was able to, I had the, I wasn't afraid to launch the podcast, the podcast on such a big platform, and that means a lot to me, and uh, I beat the reason why I was able to do that is because I've had so much support from everyone, uh, people in MakerLog, people in open podcast and I really appreciate it so yeah I'm just I'm getting I'm getting myself ready for the stream because I didn't do that before I started so let me do that right now and then uh, today's episode recording is going to be about the open podcast blog that I recently created as soon as I get all this stuff ready to go I will I will hop into it I don't need this nice okay um plus trans um I might I might talk about the product on launch um for a bit I don't know it depends. It all depends. Let me... Actually, no. Let me... Let me do something first. Hello. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Is this... Okay. So you can hear me. Okay. Uh, sounds good. Okay. Uh, I've only been... Okay. I've only been active for two minutes. All right. Let me get into it. Okay, um, this is going down. Everything is good. Okay. The future of the blog, okay. Building an indie business in the center. Ugh, center. You moron. Because I don't... I don't open my mouth. And that's the problem. Okay. Building an indie business in the center of venture capital. I am Alex Edmonds. And this is the Building an Indie Business Podcast. Alright. Um, today... <laughs> I'm going to be talking about the open podcast blog that I just set up recently. I'm going to be talking about how the blog was built, um, why I started the blog, what's on the blog currently, um, and the yeah what what the, the the blog will continue to be, and what I hope for the future of the blog. Okay, so let's get into it. How I built the blog, um, the content management system or CMS that I used is ghost ghost.org um, I use DigitalOcean to host the blog with their one-click uh, marketplace I did a, a five dollar droplet I used a free template called massively to set up like the CSS and HTML of the blog and then I followed a really great tutorial by an open podcast member, Steph Smith, um, who 
wrote an article walking uh, readers through how to set up a blog on DigitalOcean with Ghost. Um, her blog is defsmith.io. Uh, if I remember, I'll link to it in the show notes. Okay, so I had no problem setting it up. Everything is perfect about the blog so far. I love it. Um, so why I started the blog. So I, I do podcasting to have people find open podcasts. And everything I do is about open podcast um, content wise. So um, blogging or having a blog is a, another medium for people to find open podcast. It, so I have the audio content right now. And with the blog, I have um, written content. And so I can post um, blog posts in different places. Um, even the same places that I post um, my um, my what my podcast episodes and they'll do differently because different communities will respond um, differently to different types of content so like on hacker news yeah hacker news um, they don't really respond well to audio content so if I summarize one of my podcasting episodes and I write that up for the blog and then I um, post that on Hacker News, that is a better chance of getting more people to see it and then join Open Podcast. Okay, um, another reason why I started the blog is uh, the more content I create, the more people will find Open Podcast and more people will join Open Podcast. So the first art all right yeah the first article i wrote i have written for the blog is how to interview a podcast guest and that did really well pretty much everywhere i posted it um and so another reason i started the blog is because uh written con- art so for audio content it's really hard for it to get support, uh, like shares on social media because it's a link to um, another place. So people have to exit out to listen to my podcast episode and then they might not come back to social media and then share the episode. But with... um. With a blog, you can have like a function that allows people to share certain sections of uh, the blog posts and uh, share it on social media, which makes it easier to go viral on, um, on other platforms. Okay, so currently, like I said, I have one uh, blog post that I wrote, um, how to interview a podcast guest, which is a summary of the podcast episode that I did. It might have a little more details because the way I do uh, promotion for the podcast is I'll do the podcast episode, then I'll do a tweet storm, and I might add more things to the tweet storm that I didn't really think about when I was doing the episode. And then I'll write up the tweet storm and the podcast episode by listening to the podcast episode while I type. And that might give me more ideas. So each time I have like a new form of content for uh, the episode, I get more ideas. So I have I have one uh, one article right now and I will be posting monthly right now so like every first Friday of the month I think so far um, I don't have a problem with producing content I have a problem figuring out how to promote that content and so once I figure out how to promote 
the blog post, where to where to post it, what time to post it, how to like w- what should I post in the body of my my promotion to get more people to see it. Once I figure that out, I'll start posting more and get more traffic. Okay. So how did I promote the interview article? I added it. I I I posted it on Twitter. Um I on the open podcast Twitter account and then I retweeted it from my account. And uh, doing that, uh, it got a, a lot of views, actually. Even uh, someone like a, a Messi.f, uh, .fm, uh, I think they're a podcast host. They created a graphic promoting the, the article with like the main points. And so that was good. The only problem that I, or the only thing that I wish that they did was they link back to the Twitter account. What I wish that they did was link back to the actual article. And so there's that. So besides that, I posted it on Indie Hackers. So Indie Hackers has groups and I specifically posted it in the podcasters uh, section. And so that, uh, that didn't do really well. It, uh, it only got 16 views last time I checked. Okay. Um, another promotion that I did was I posted on Reddit in the um, r slash podcasting section, and that went that did really well. That is uh, most of where the views for the the article came in. It was at the top of the the subreddit for the day. I got like 250 views, so that was great. And I got some people to join the newsletter, which is great. I posted on Hacker News, and it didn't do too well. I don't, I, I don't even think I got any uh, people looking at the article. Um, I posted it in the Open Podcast Newsletter at the top. Um, I, I don't think I released that um, newsletter yet, so I'm not sure how it went. Did. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully it does stuff. What I do with the newsletters, I post that on Reddit too in the podcasting section. And every time I post that, um, the newsletter, it gets a subscriber. So that's great. Um, I posted it on Barnacles. Um, Barnacles, the, uh, the results don't show up immediately. So when I post... Um, my episodes on barnacles um it's like my article will stay at the top for a couple days and then it'll gradually go down over like a month so and through the month i'm getting clicks so you can't really tell right away if something is popular mostly because um on barnacles you don't get a lot of interaction or people posting so that's why even for a couple days what you post will stay at the top um, and I'll, it'll be on the front page for about a month so you'll be getting clicks for a month um, yeah that's all I did for a promotion I need to I need to figure out how I can post it to other like other specific podcasting websites or forums or groups I need to find other places where they'll allow me to like guest post okay um, finally, uh, what I hope for the blog for the future, I hope my goal, my goal, not what I hope my goal is to have other members of open podcast, um, writing blog posts about podcasting or their experience podcasting. And that way I can help members of open podcasts grow their, their following by guest posting on the the blog. Okay. That's all I have for this episode. Um, if you would like to um, guest post on the Open Podcast blog, reach out to me. Join the Telegram chat. Uh, same with the Open Podcast uh, 
podcast, the Open Podcast Community Podcast. If you would like to host an episode, let me know, and uh, we can arrange that. All you need to do is uh, do the audio yourself, record, do a solo episode, uh, be interviewed, interview someone, do a roundtable with your friends. Send me that audio, send me what you want in the show notes, and I will add it to uh, the Open Podcast Community Podcast. Uh, Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Bye. (sighs) All right. That that wasn't too bad. I don't mind it. All right. Um, So now, let me... Let me promote this. I don't like to promote it. Um... Let me, during the the episode, because I can't interact with people, but now I can. No problem. Okay. Like, um, okay. Streaming. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, actually, I don't need to announce what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it. I have... I have, what do you call it? I have... This thing. Oh, I have... Um, like, the Twitch dashboard open. So I can see anyone's comments. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to Hey, um, person on Twitch, how are you? Do you have any questions for me? Um, OP blog. Okay, wave. Okay, so after I, I download this, down yeah, download it. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, I like to turn the audio file into a video file because the video that transition takes the longest, and so I'm able to like do other things and then wait for that to happen, and then upload it to YouTube. So, yeah, upload. I upload it, download it, upload it. Yeah, that's it. And, uh, yeah, so usually what happens is I I do like the Open Podcast newsletter while I'm waiting, but uh, I don't have a lot of content for the newsletter right now because everything's about corona and uh it's just i don't know i'm tired of hearing about the coronavirus but we can talk about um the product on launch and how that's going right now let's check okay davis roland okay that's a fake account I'm okay with it though. I wasn't the one that created it. Okay. Um, Davis. Four out of five. Four out of five dentists recommend my podcast. (laughs) Oh, that's so bad. Okay. 95 upvotes. That's great. I love it. What position am I in though? I forgot. I didn't check that. Okay. Check the dashboard real quick. I'm in the 10th position. Sweet. I moved up one position. Okay, so now we go to Anchor. Anchor. And I, oh, okay. No one wants to hang out with me while I stream. It's uncool. Okay. See, the problem with the product on launch is that I have 23 plays only. I usually, like, look, 
this one from last week, I have 32. And I can usually get like like 15 on the first day. So I don't know if this is a huge jump or it's just like a normal day for me. Even though I didn't even I didn't even promote the pod the podcast episode fully. I usually do uh dev um Reddit and then um this this uh website called Growth Hackers, which I don't think it brings me any traffic, but I still do it because it's so simple. So yeah. Um now we're going to anchor. Anchor. Anchor, anchor, anchor. I made it out of clay. Anchor, anchor, anchor. One, two, three, four, eight. Okay. Um, okay. So what are we doing now? New episode. We're going to upload the episode. <laughs> and so tomorrow I'm going to do a stream about the product on launch. And I'm going to talk about uh, in detail what my position was, how many upvotes I got, um, if I think all the work was worth it. Spoiler alert, I don't. Because if I got a significant amount of downloads, new downloads, then I would think, like, yeah, it was worth it. If I got, like, 35 to 40 downloads, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I got some traffic. But I'm not sure if I did. Uh, especially because like I could see people looking at the landing page and people aren't really like clicking they're just looking so they're not listening to the podcast and my goal was downloads so yeah it I didn't reach my goals with the product hunt launch so and I did so much ex- extra things I, I made a landing page I made a new logo. No, I made a GIF. Like, that's a lot. So, yeah. That's... Any questions? Oh, I have a question for you. Have you seen me before? Or is this the first time you're watching my stream? I was just wondering. Let's get to know each other while we're here. That's all. That's what I think we should do. Okay. So yeah, um, this coronavirus is getting pretty serious. Um, I live in the Bay Area, and they just enacted like shelter in place, which is like basically stay in home stay in your homes for until you need to do like you need to do something and uh yeah or you could get arrested like if I'm just going to like pick up a pizza they could arrest me potentially so yeah here let's we can try to do the newsletter I guess Let's see what's there. I tried to do this last night, too. Oh, wrong thing. I found one article last night. I didn't... I may have found two, and then I just didn't want to deal with it. We're about to check. We're about to find out. Okay. Edit. Mm. Edit the design. Oh yeah, so I found one. Um, did I find another one? Book promotion. It's weird, this is in jobs to apply to. <laughs> but the good thing about product hunt, is that what I was gonna say? Yeah, is that um, now with all the stuff I made for the product hunt launch, I could launch it, um, the podcast on other platforms. 
So, yeah, that's great. Any questions at all from anyone? Anyone on Twitch that is the only person watching my Twitch stream right now? Any questions? Do you have a question about this? I have a Tinder experiment. Any questions about that? What that is? Why I have it? Anything at all? Okay, I remember. I had an interesting article from this place. And I didn't get around to actually putting it in the thing. The only way to overcome a post office. Okay. It's Okay. No questions? You just want to watch me do this? Okay, fair enough. New podcast. Headlines. Keep going. Joan does coronavirus. Oh, three big takeaways from... Hey, um, new person watching. Any questions? Oh, it was this one. It was definitely this one. Okay. Let me see if the episode... Oh, perfect timing. The episode just started to uh, get ready for me to add it as an episode. Okay. Okay. So for the open podcast form, I use Mailjet. But for the open podcast newsletter, clearly, I use... Mailchimp. I don't know what I was going where I was going with that. Three biggest takeaways from Podfest twenty twenty. Podfest is a really big uh, podcasting event. A lot of popular people in podcasting go to it. I've never been to it myself because I'm... Oh! (sighs) I just... I did the wrong article. that up again you know what I mean so you guys just watch streams without actually talking to anyone is that it that's cool I don't have any problem with that any questions just let me know anything you want me to talk about Uh, cuz I'm Okay, they left. Cool. I don't need to talk.
Hey, people watching. Track your um any questions? Actually, I need I need to do this. to back live episodes what what um yeah so that's fantastic this was such a longer episode though it's crazy i had so much to say about this about the forum uh well see the reason why i had so much to say about the forum compared to the blog it's because the blog wasn't a pain in the ass. I, I did the blog in like a day. And I have, I have, I technically have two forms. I have the discourse form and I have the, the custom form that I made. If you listen to the episode, you'll hear it. Okay. I think, um, Okay, let me let me do the math on this. So this this episode here comes out here, and so if I record tomorrow, the product on episode, that means that it'd be here, or I could put it here, so that way it's more recent and people, I don't know, people won't remember what I'm talking about. So I don't think it matters what. When the order comes in. Okay. So I'm here. Right now. As of tomorrow. And then what other episodes can I record right now? Products on launch. Um, email. I could do workflow. Ah. Oh. I didn't keep track of my workflow today. Okay, then I definitely have to record tomorrow. Here, let me, where are my notes? I'm done with this. Okay, um, tomorrow, when recording, keep, track of workflow and this is gonna go right here okay girl podcast with email start NLP blog just did that episode fully promoted creating videos I could do a survey episode I could do a reddit episode yeah, um, so if you don't know, because I don't know if you know me or not, I start my job, new job, first job out of college uh, next week. Or I don't even know when at this point. Soon. So I'm trying to record as many episodes as possible. And so that way I can have an idea of the amount of work I'm going to do and that when I'll be able to record an episode. And so, like, if I have six weeks in advance, I have six weeks to, like, know my schedule and when I'd be able to record from now on. Okay.
see the, the th okay. So the form episode is um, on the blog. The episode that was released today is like 22 minutes and um, I haven't even listened to it today because it's so long for me compared to like, like this episode now is 10 minutes. It's uh, in the future of the blog. So I don't know, I, I haven't found the sweet spot of the amount of time a podcast episode should be. But yeah, it's, um, I'm thinking I'm just going to do the product on episode right after the form episode and that way I don't have like two straight episodes of oh um, something went live even though they basically went live on the same exact day so I could do two episodes I could do one episode of each and it'd be fine no I could do the same exact episode of oh my this stuff went live but I'll just do the product on episode later I'm probably gonna do the product on episode tomorrow I'm gonna write it up today and then tomorrow it's gonna be done right here Steph Smith Perfect. 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 Little red Corvette. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Whoopsie. Doctor. Whoopsie. Sorry. Too much. Okay. Okay. Oh, and you know what I almost forgot? to promote the form itself, not the form, the blog itself. Any questions? You're not going to ask me if I'm crazy or not. I haven't decided. The one thing I have to remember to do, though, is to delete the Steph Smith stuff for the next episode. Because sometimes I'll... I, like, I just copy and paste it, right? And I don't pay attention. So, like, when I was doing the interview so this would be 58 when I was doing the interview and then I did the interview podcast guest episode I left the person I interviewed Brendan I left his info in the next episode so yeah I have to watch out for that Don't tell me what to do. Cool. So now blog, form, website. 
All right, there's no more content creation platforms for open podcasts. That's not true. You know what I have? I have I have a Twitch account for open podcasts, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Alex is at home. Please send me a message at the beep. I must be out or I'd pick up the phone. Where could I be? to do now oh wait just kidding is this okay this doesn't need to be published okay the open podcast blog is live live from alex's house it's the open podcast blog do you get that reference Ooh. Specific content. That's what I can do. Even though I checked yesterday, didn't I? There's nothing. Yeah, still nothing there. Isn't this in the notes? Where? New sources. No. Oh, I was gonna check Hot Pod too. I didn't do that. Hot pod. You ain't going out like that. That's an old slung. I think that's that's definitely older than me. But uh I don't know. I can't remember where I heard it from. No, I know the song. Um I don't remember their state lyrics though. That's what's wrong with me. Chartable blog okay any questions what I'm doing here any questions at all okay no one's watching that's great kind of like when no one's watching so I can just hang out It's nice to have someone to talk to, though. I'll say that. Medium. This is ain't going out like that. Ooh. Ain't going out like that. Okay. They haven't posted anything in a while, dude. I've done more writing than these people have. I'm like whispering. I don't know if that's why. No one's talking to me. Podcast insights. Oh. Bullock. I'm walking over here. snickering okay I should read this because I try to make it more funny but it's my podcast more funny but it just doesn't end up like that okay
Hey. Um, I'm just reading this article. I'm probably going to put it in the newsletter for Open Podcast. But I just want to read it first, see if it's interesting or what takeaways I can put in the newsletter. Summarizing it for people. Okay. Hey, I'm just reading this article. Uh, I might put it on the show notes. And, uh, not the show notes. The Open Podcast Newsletter. So I'm just reading it. It's, uh, so I can summarize it. Feel free to read along with me. If you're having trouble honing your comedic voice, there's a chance you might be overthinking it. All three creators acknowledge the importance of your own personality in your comedy and not trying to force something that isn't you. There's a good chance that what's actually fun for your audience is what what's fun for you. I want to hear you having fun. When they started making beach too sandy, water too wet, um, Alex says you... He was in his head too much. I know at the beginning of the podcast, I really tried to think about what was going. I was going to say. What will people think of me if I tell this stupid joke? I'd focus too much on that. I'm really trying to block out that voice in my head, saying people won't find this funny. Kristen, meanwhile, uh, wasn't focused on whether people would think her joke were funny. She was worried about the amount of jokes she could fit in and being prepared. Something I learned that was if you have a partner on a show, you're both trying to be equals, let the other person speak, she says. Um, yeah, I, I get it. When asked how she defined her economy, I don't, I don't, but other people like to call me weird. Her background in comedy confirms this. Outside, punch up the jam. She's probably best known for buying about high school lunch tables and uh, hemorrhoids, among others. Before making a podcast, she made videos and worked for other online performance platforms, including. Likewise, Alex sought out physical practice when they started podcasting, which Alex said was especially helpful. We took in process. Okay. Check your links.
Hey. Uh, I'm just finishing up here. Um, yeah. I... Uh, I just wrote the open podcast newsletter. The newsletter for my community. I recorded an episode. And then... Yeah. I Oh, I have one more thing to do, actually. Let me check something real quick. All right, uh, I'm gonna go to headliner. I have to upload the podcast episode to whatever this is called to YouTube. thing. It's this one. If you don't see your YouTube thing, then it doesn't exist. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm almost done here. I got this one. I got this one. Okay, it's uploaded. Ready to go. Upload video. Select file, download, 11 minutes, Jesus, okay, um, open podcast blog is live. Visibility. Schedule. March. Thirteenth. Okay. Uh, no one's here. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Okay. I'm over it. Thanks for watching, anyone who 
watches this entire thing later.